Hey, hi, how's it going? Thank you for clicking on this video. So today we are doing an anti-Valentine's Day glam. If you haven't seen already, I've done a pink glam Valentine's Day look and a bloody Valentine's Day look. So I thought I'd do a third anti-Valentine's Day look. Yes, it is very dramatic and it is very bold. I'm kind of scaring myself looking in the monitor, but oh well. If you are new here, make sure you hit subscribe before you go anywhere. And if you want to see how I get this look, then let's get into it. So I've already done my brows. I use the ColourPop Brow Color in Bangin' Brunette. The Rimmel London Born This Way Clear Styling Gel. And to prep my eyelids, I use the Rimmel London Wake Me Up Concealer and set it with the Levitation shade from the Kat Von D now onto the eyes. I know they're very dramatic brows for me and I know I don't normally do them like this but I decided to give it a go since I'm hoping this look is going to be very dramatic. That's the plan. So I'm going to be starting today with the Kylie Cosmetics Peach Palette and I'm going to be starting with this shade here. Duke, and I'm going to use this nice big fluffy brush. Now this is from Simple Glam Girls and you can use my code EMILY. Uh, to save some money, and they're really good. That first shade I used was actually Sorbet, I read it wrong. The shade I'm going to go in with is Sandy. take the shade Wild West from Makeup Geek and put that right in my crease to start create the, create the smoke. I'm now going to take the shade Corrupt by Makeup Geek and Put that everywhere. going to blacken the other eye and I'll be right back. We're going to move on to the rest of the face and come back to the eyes. I'm just going to do a quick spritz of the Urban Decay Quick Fix Hydro Charge Complexion Prep Priming Spray. Oh my gosh, that smells amazing. It smells like coconuts. For primer, I'm going to be... It does not taste nice. For primer, I'm going to take the Kat Von D Locket Featherweight Primer. Foundation today is going to be the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in the shade 120 Classic Ivory and I'm going to be using my current favourite beauty sponge, the one from LA Girl. For concealer, I'm going to go back with the Rimmel London and I'm just going to conceal the under eyes and high points of my face. with the levitation powder. <music> to set the rest of my face, I'm going to be taking this Wet n Wild Cover All Pressed Powder in the shade Fair Light. <music> For bronzer, 
bronzer. I'm going to be using the Rimmel London Sun Shimmer Maxi Bronzer in the shade 6 Warm Up. contour using the shade and night palette again and I'm going to be using the shade subconscious I'm going to be taking it benefit cosmetics California the eyes we're gonna now smoke the bottom first gonna go into the Kylie peach palette in the shades sorbet and sandy for underneath my eyes then going back in with corrupt to smoke out the lower lash line take a bit of this Colourpop highlighter in the shade Yeah Kitty Kitty to highlight my brow bone. I'm also going to take this and highlight my face. Take this CoverGirl liquid line black eyeliner and line the inner rim of my eyes. I'm now going to throw on these lashes. These are the Lava Lashes in the shade Sexy and I'll be right back. So I just threw on these lashes and I used the Maybelline Lash Sensation and put a bit of the Too Faced Sketch Marker in the shade Black just above the lash. For my lips, I'm going in with the Kylie Cosmetics Leo Lip Liner and followed by the Rimmel London Stay Matte Lip Color in the shade Palm the Show. Guys, these are so comfortable, you really need to look into them. is an anti-Valentine's Day look. If you couldn't tell by all this darkness on my face, I'm going to take the Too Faced Sketch Marker and just give myself a little heart. I'm so impressed with myself that I didn't and there you have it, one dark, ultra glam, anti-Valentine's Day look. Woo! Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.